Hey, you're at Overland Expo Mountain West, and you're watching Waypoint Overland TV. Hi guys, this is Jerry from Tembo Tusk. Question that I get a lot is, how do we clean our scottle? And there's all sorts of ways of cleaning, uh, like cast iron, but I find the easiest way is if you've got a little bit of grunge in the bottom, put water in the, in the scottle, just enough to cover it. Turn on your burner so that uh, you get to about a medium heat and you can see how it's boiling. Anything that you've cooked on the scottle, whether it's oil or grease, um, uh, sugars and cheese will melt in the boiling water and then you just scrape it out. And, uh, and don't be afraid of a, a, metal or a metal spatula. Just make sure that the edges are round and you won't gouge your, uh, your scottle. Now, with the hot water, you want to do a little bit of movement with it so you can get the grease off the edges. And then when you're done, turn off the water, turn off, sorry, turn off the gas. Let it cool a little bit with a paper towel. Just sop up the water, throw it in a container, and then wipe the, uh, the scottle. And you might want, when you're all done, add a little bit of oil to it, wipe it around, put it away. That keeps the rust away. And it's as simple as that. It takes about three minutes. That's it. Actually, about as long as we were just talking. Hi, guys. Another thing that you can do for cleaning your scottle, this is after it's all clean, right just before you want to put it away. And uh, you might have a couple of little particles of food or something still left on it. You turn on the burner with no water in it, bring it real hot, and with the, a little bit of water you just splash it. And what this does, it steam cleans the surface of the scottle. And uh, once it all boils away, you can get a paper towel, wipe it, turn off the burner, and let it cool, and then put it away. But the steam cleaning will just you take everything off the surface. And that's it, very simple. Thank you. So my name is Andy Lilienthal. I'm with Warren Industries. And this is my 94 Mitsubishi Delica Space Gear. So uh, it was imported into the United States about a year ago, about a year and a half ago. And we've started building it up. So, so one of the most first and foremost things you can see is the coastal off-road bumper. This is a weld together kit. Uh, and then we've installed a Warren Xeon 8S winch in the front. Relocated the control pack to underneath the bumper. And we've got the Epic Fairlead on here, and then the Factor 55 Ultra Hub. Uh, on the top, we needed to add some lights, so we threw some Light Force Venoms up here with the orange covers. And um, there's a whole host of other things. We've got the Rock 40 lights. We've got a bit of a lift on this. We've got some Rancho RS9000 XL shocks. We've got the uh, new um, Front Runner roof rack. On that, we've got some Max Tracks, a Demo shovel. Underneath here, we've got a long-range automotive tank brought in by Long Range uh, America. They're out of Idaho. And then uh, BF Goodrich 30 by 950 KO2s on some basic steel wheels. Uh, we've got a rear swingway tire carrier on this. Uh, we don't need to carry fuel because of that long-range tank, so we have uh, just a, a water can on the back. But So we've... We're just kind of in cargo mode on the inside of it, but we do sleep in it. We've got an ARB Zero fridge on the inside, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. So uh, enjoy traveling uh, off the beaten path, sometimes on the beaten path, but just kind of around the United States with it. Hi, I'm Rod with Dirt Box Gear. We're here at the Overland Show in Loveland, Colorado, displaying some of our JKU, JLU, and Forerunner storage and power solutions. In the back of this particular JLU, we've got our, our power solution, which is a storage solution for some storage. Has a 170 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery in it, a 2000 watt inverter, a 50 amp DC DC charger that'll charge off the vehicle while it's being driven, or it has a solar option for you so that we can run our Dometic fridges or your ARB fridges. Also, we run a induction cooktops off of them. We run coffee makers, any of your small appliances in your home, you can run off of the 20, 20 amp circuits that, that we offer in the, in the power unit. 
Also obviously has the USB powering so you can charge your phones or any of your, your small electronics like that and run them off that, uh, you know, in that solution. We offer it in this textured gray laminate material <clears throat> that's mounted to one of our rich light produced synthetic uh, mounting plates. All of our slide materials are all 14 gauge stainless steel, 500 pound slides, all stainless steel fasteners, so it's completely weatherproof. Next, we have this in a smaller footprint that fits below, finishes at seat height in the back of a JK or JLU, and it's been color matched. We offer a color match option. This one's been color matched to a mojito green for a Jeep OE color. Same configuration let, allows us to use a smaller fridge and a smaller, more compact. Same situation, we have our composite deck on top with our L-Track stainless inlay, so you can tie down your extra gear on top of that, just in a smaller footprint that shows our color match availability option for any of the automotive finishes in 4Runners and Nissans and Lexus, Jeep, obviously. We, uh, we offer that color matching option in that same exact configuration with drawers, slide materials, slides, same configuration, and just a smaller footprint. Okay, and then finally we have our newest deck solution for full-size pickups all the way down to your Tacomas and, and, uh, and the even Jeep Gladiators. So what we have here is our, our same composite deck with our same stainless inlay for our L-Track. We make all of the bracketry that f bolts down to the factory locations, all produced by us out of 11 gauge 304 stainless steel, so it's completely weatherproof on 600 pounds five foot slides so they come all the way out all the way in for for the solution of not being able to crawl into the back of your rig you can bring it all out and uh, same same situation lock in lock out slides and this option we have a there are bamboo cutting board options slid underneath of it in case you mount your fridge you have some place to work on take your product out of it same thing made locally in phoenix arizona from beginning to end same same stainless steel hardware throughout so it's completely weatherproof no issues with uh, water or, or snow or rain any of those issues all right and we want to thank you guys for uh, for watching the video we want to thank waypoint overland for for taking the time to to reach out to us and do this videos for us you can find us at dirtboxgear.com you can find us in, on instagram at dirtboxgear and, uh, and once again, thanks for joining us in Loveland. Thanks again, a big shout out to Waypoint Overland for, for kindly reaching out to us and, and showing you all of our products that we have here today.